Despite everything you're hearing out there, there are still hundreds, if not thousands of people making the move here to Utah every single month. We've seen a huge influx of new residents here in the state over the last couple of years, but despite everything kind of slowing down, interest rates going up, home prices going all over the place, inflation cooling off, the economy cooling off, people are still making a move here. And I'm going to talk about the top reasons why people continue to make a move here to Utah. What's up, you guys? My name is Cody Steck, your favorite Utah realtor. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate here in Utah, my team and I service the entire state, and we'd love for you to reach out to us. My information will be here on the screen. Please call, text, or email anytime. I absolutely love hearing from you guys and cannot wait to help you along that real estate journey. So like I said in this video, we're going to talk about the top reasons why people continue to move here to Utah despite everything that's going on. You know, the economy is cooling off, interest rates are up, rents are up. It seems like it's more expensive than ever just to live here or just about anywhere in the world, right? Everything is getting expensive and it's a new normal that everybody has to adjust to. However, there's still people that move here and the reasons why they want to continue moving here are are a number of factors, right? There's gonna be a lot of different reasons and for each person, it's a little bit individual, but I wanna talk about the top ones here. Number one being that the jobs here are unprecedented. The jobs that we have here are absolutely amazing and there's a lot of high paying jobs coming to the area. It's a very tax friendly state. It's a very business friendly state. So there's even self-employed people coming to the state as well because they're able to operate their business and still have a tax and business friendly environment. So whether you're looking for a high paid job or you're a self-employed business owner uh, or you own your own business, you can move here and still have a lot of the benefits that you might find in other high paying areas such as Florida, uh, California, Texas, maybe New York or even the Northeast, right? Boston, Philadelphia, whatever. So there's a lot of new jobs here and that's bringing a lot of people into the state. I'd say that 75% of people that I talk to, which is probably in the dozens every single week are moving here because of a job opportunity that they've received. Now, it could be in any number of fields, it could be in any number of careers, but there's tons of jobs here and they continue to grow and expand. As more people come here, that creates more demand here in the local economy and then that creates more jobs in return. So I think we're gonna continue to see job growth here in Utah. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the entire country. And I think it's going to continue to be that way, which is going to continue to drive demand here in Utah. Number two is going to be the lifestyle that you get here in Utah. If you want to get outdoors or you want to do just about any outdoor activity, you can do that within 30 to 60 minutes of anywhere here within the metro area. Whether you want to go hiking, climbing, skiing, boating, fishing, uh, whatever it might be, ice climbing, you can literally do all of it within 30 to 60 minutes. And that's what continues to drive people here to the area. There's lots of different places you can live and getting outdoors is so incredibly easy. And that's why people want to live here, right? If you're into that outdoor stuff, you can live here and have easy access to that. Now, on the flip side, you do also have some of the other major things that a lot of other big cities have. Now, of course, we're not going to be on the same level as Los Angeles or New York or Hong Kong or whatever, right? We're a much smaller city than those, but we still do have a lot of entertainment options. We've got bars, we've got clubs, we've got entertainment such as professional sports teams, uh, which is growing. There's actually rumors that we might have a major league baseball and national hockey team here in the state in the next couple of years. You know, verdict's out still. We don't know for sure if that's going to happen or not, but there's rumors that it could possibly happen and it's looking pretty likely. Uh, so we are, we do have those other opportunities for entertainment here in the area. And that's again, another reason why people continue to make a move here to Utah. The next thing I want to talk about, number three on our list here today, is that the weather is phenomenal. You know, Salt Lake City has one of the best weather patterns in the entire country, in my opinion. It's situated just perfectly where you're at a high enough altitude where you do get hot and dry summers because we are technically in a desert, but you do get colder, wet winters, right? This last year, we had record snowfall across the entire Wasatch Front, and I think that's a good, very good thing because it gives you enough outdoor activities for the winter months as well as in the summer months. You know, you can get up to 100 degrees in the summer, and then in the winter, it's going to be 10, 20, 30 degrees degrees in most winter days. So it gives you a good variety. And then you've got spring and fall that kind of offset those two months. So you do get some nicer weather in between and you really get access to just about everything you want. You're not just going to have, you know, 365 days of sun and heat and humidity every year. Oh, and you're not also going to have, you know, cold temperatures like you might get in the Northern part of the country or the Northern part, let's say Canada, right? Where it's just cold and dark and dreary kind of throughout the winter months or even most of the year, right? So the weather here is really kind of unmatched in my opinion. And again, another reason why people people keep making a move here and it's going to continue to be that way into the future. A lot of people really like those four seasons, especially if you're moving from somewhere where it's very extreme like Canada or let's say Florida or Texas on the Southern end, where it's just very hot and humid for most of the year. Coming to Utah is going to be a nice change for you. 
Number four, we're going to talk a little bit about housing. Why people keep moving here from these different areas. Now, I get I talk to a lot of people who are moving from California. They're moving from Seattle, from Portland, uh, from anywhere along the Western Coast. I talk to people from Texas, Florida, and the Northeast. The one thing that every single person says when they get here to this area is that they cannot believe how big the homes are in Utah. Now, those homes can still be expensive, right? You're looking at about five hundred thousand for a median priced home here in the area, and if for something that's pretty nice by most people's standards, you're probably looking at like six or seven hundred thousand in most areas. Now that is very expensive. Of course, it's relative to where you're coming from. If you're coming from Ohio in the Midwest, then it's probably going to be very expensive. However, if you're coming from Los Angeles, it's probably going to be very cheap. So it's all relative to what you're used to. But the thing is that's you know uniform across the board is that the homes here are very large. It is not uncommon to find a 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, even 5,000 square foot home in those price ranges. You can find that and they are out there. So if you want a bigger home, you want some space, you want to spread out, you want a additional bedrooms, or maybe you want that home office or a gym or a theater room, whatever it might be, you can find that here in the area. I just helped somebody move here last week who was living in Orange County and they owned a home that was two bedrooms, two baths, and it was worth about 1.2 to 1.3 million. They just bought a home here for $750,000 and it was 4,000 square feet. So it was about three to four X the size of their previous home and only about half the price of their past home. It's absolutely crazy how big of a home here you can get and also how much space you've got. So if that's something you're looking for, that could be a huge positive on your list of reasons to move here to Utah. Now, number five that I want to talk about here today is we're going to talk a little bit about the area, the community, and the type of people that we've got here. Again, another thing that people always mention when they come and visit Utah is they can't believe how clean it is. They can't believe that there's such low crime. There's not crime and graffiti and all these issues, uh, you know, out on the streets where you're just seeing trash everywhere or just people not really caring, right? Uh, so it's a very clean area, very low crime. Homeless, yes, we do have some homeless people. They are going to be mostly centralized in the downtown area. Every once in a while, you'll see some other pockets where you find homeless people, but they've really kind of kept this to a minimum, partially uh, because of the you know political environment, I think, but also partially because of the weather that we have here. You know, it's a harsh spot to be if you're homeless. So, uh, you know, there's not a lot of them. There's not as many as in other major cities, which I think, again, a lot of people appreciate. And once you get out into the suburbs, it is extremely rare to see anybody uh, who's homeless and, you know, just kind of wandering around. I, I don't know anybody that really enjoys seeing that. And so, uh, you know, it's nice to see. That's something that people always comment on. And again, the other thing that I've got to mention is that everybody always says, hey, people in Utah are extremely nice. Whether you're part of the LDS faith or you're not, or you're from here or you're not, it doesn't really matter. People here in Utah are just very nice and friendly. They'll wave to you on the street. They'll nod. They'll say hello when you pass, you know, either on the sidewalk or you're getting on the bus or off the bus or whatever it might be, right? Going in and out of the door at the restaurant. People are generally very friendly and they're very nice. And that's something that's going to be a nice refresher uh, compared to other areas. I've heard that, you know, from people like in other major cities, it's like extremely weird to talk to anybody if you don't know them or to even just, you know, strike up a, a simple hello. Uh, that's very uncommon for those types of people. So uh, it's a very nice thing to have here. That's something that people always comment on. And uh, I wanted to throw it here on this list. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure to reach out to me, call, text, or email anytime. My information is here on the screen again. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the newsletter. There'll be a link in the description box down below. Uh, I'd love for you to check that out. We re release a ton of information about what's happening here in Salt Lake. A lot of that info never makes it onto the channel here or into these videos. So if you want additional information about what's happening out there, make sure to subscribe to that newsletter and reach out to me. My team and I service the entire state and I'd love to hear from you. Call, text, or email anytime. And thanks for watching.